the, the pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Tackle at the 49, and a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. He's going to try and scramble, and he's sacked. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did it. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Complete big loss. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring up third and long. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Pressured and brought down. Loss of three. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the five. He's scrambling. Decides to take himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 74-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. West Virginia's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. He carries the ball for a nice game. That's a gain of four on one play. That'll bring up third and six. And down he goes at about the 39 yard line. Call a gain of 10 yards. First down. Throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. I got 
Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled at the 46-yard line. Number 51 makes the set tackle at the 46-yard line. Third down. Check, check. Alert, predator, predator. He's tackled at the 44. Interception. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Makes it out to about the 26. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Hey, Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. That brings him second and five. And he's immediately tackled. Game of nine yards. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Roger, Roger. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Rose, and it's knocked away. He's got to be more careful with these rainbow passes. You don't want to give the defenders enough time to catch up with the ball and make the pick. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. Two-yard pickup. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. and taken down immediately. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. West Virginia is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator got to be He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Cincinnati is up by four. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on their own 32. Ready! Blue idiot! There's a strike complete. And he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. Taken down around the 44 yard line. Gain of three yards. That will make it second and seven. Quads, quads, quads. Right There's a strike complete. He's down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen, and he tackles him hard at the 40. No gain on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up, and he nails the long field goal. Like 
They're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings him second in five. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The Bearcats with a touchdown lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 36. And they make the stop at the 41 yard line. That makes it second and six. Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. Brought down at the 47. Number 11 in the tackle at the 47 yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 49. That makes it second and eight. He tackles him for a loss. And this play is number eight on the drive. And a corner on the interception. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 39. Cincinnati is up a score. Now he's flushed, and they got him. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of him. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Gets to around the 42. Scrambling. Tackle right around the 48 yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That'll make it second and seven. Check, check. 
Laterals back, and he's got space. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Game of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Here's the halfback. They'll drop him for a loss. With a quick throw. It's picked off. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Cincinnati up seven points. Level at the 39. No big in the play. Stop your body. That makes it second and ten. Let's go. He's, 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 look. He scrambled. Bumble. It's recovered. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, check by 47. Check by 47. Pretty. 48. Oh. Ah, ah. Darts it to the right. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. That makes it fourth and long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He goes out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. There you go. Set it, go. Caught out of the open. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards. First down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of 8 yards. That makes it second and 2. So it's second down and about two yards to go. 51, Mike! Mike, 51! Slings it. They'll knock him down for a loss. Third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 39. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Oh, excellent punt. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Cincinnati is up seven. And he's 
tackled at the 32. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. Jack, Jack, regular, regular, regular. Switch, switch, switch. Let's go. That makes it Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. his man and they take him down immediately four yards gain he took what the defense gave him that time which is okay it keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable from their own 34 yard line second down he's tackled at the 49 yard line this passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback they use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend he lets it go Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly, and again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying your offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he carries the ball for a nice game. We played a half of football. This one's all even at 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And a quick throw, and he's taken down right around the 30. 
That's good for a gain of five yards. I'm coming! I'm that brings him second and five. I'm coming! Hey, Mike 51! Mike 51! Go! Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. It's third and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's hit immediately. Throws a bullet over the middle. First down. He's taken down around the 50-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. Number 25 brings him down to the 36-yard line. First down. Fires in a hurry. Interception. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Three down, three down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. Loss of seven yards on the play. That brings up fourth and 15. And this one is a beauty. Brought down at the 31. The day has not gone very well for this young man. Well, he's very fortunate that all these mistakes haven't led to even bigger trouble for his team. So, so far, they're still in the game. But if he keeps making mistakes, they're obviously not going to be able to win this game. Given how ineffective both offenses have been, it wouldn't take much for him to shrug off the picks and take control. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 27 yard line. throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He heaves it deep. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This is a great pitch and catch combination. And they hook up here for a big time game. First Come on. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Coming to you. Coming to you. Makes it second and six. Hey, let's calm down. Hey. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 26 yard line. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a team of five on the 
That brings him second in the Oh, you got deep? Go. Makes the first down catch. And they make the stop at about the 15 yard line. Number 25 with the tackle at the 15 yard line. First down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That'll bring up second and three. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Intercepted. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it first and goal. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delay of game, offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your down. offensive progress. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Roger, Roger! Mike 51, Mike 51! High down! Get this, get this. Go. Over the middle, got it, touchdown! that play ever developed nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Mountaineers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle around the 27-yard line. down at the 30-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. He's scrambling. He's to the 40, and down he goes at the 43. forward to about the 46. Makes it out to about the 46. the 46-yard line. Second down. Let's go! Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled the 36-yard line. Let's go! 
safety scoops it out. And that fumble is going to cost him. Uh, at this stage in the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. That makes it second and six. West Virginia is up a score. Yard line. That brings us third and Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 17-10. West Virginia. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They get this one off and it's a beauty. This puck goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. Here's another important series as they look to keep them off the board and maintain their slim margin. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 26. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. That makes it third and 11. Third down and long, and they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. Quick pass, and he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Excellent punt. He's taken down at the 36. The Mountaineers have been rolling on offense, and they look at the scoreboard, and it's still a tight ball game. I can't believe that this is still a close game. As you said, they, they have such a huge advantage, and yet it's a tight game. They've just blown too many opportunities. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. West Virginia is up seven. He scrambled. He's taken down at the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. First down. Mike, Mike, 
Alert! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! Fires out to his wideout. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Mike 51, Mike 51. And that one's incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Just under three to go in regulation. snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. This is the eighth play of this drive. That's a seven-yard gain. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. He makes his way out to about the 35. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up. Looks long enough. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. West Virginia's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. They're ready to begin another drive. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He passes it. It's picked off. It's the junior. To the 20, the 10. And they push him out at the four yard line. Game, set, match. That interception's going to do it, partner. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Watch the run, watch the run. Damn. Black, oh, easy, easy. Come on, come on, let's roll, let's roll. Have you ever heard of sportsmanship? You've got a huge lead and you're still throwing the football. Boy, this time it is incomplete, which stops the clock. I'm gonna start pulling for the defense to get back into this game. He's knocked out of bounds, just outside the goal line. From the one yard line, it's third down. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled.
Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. He airs it out. Doesn't get there. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. A little over a minute in the game. He sails it long. Almost intercepted. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and 10. He goes downtown. Can't connect. Wasn't a bad pass at all, but just a good heads-up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. It's intercepted, and that should do it. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. three-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of four on the play. First down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 23-10, West Virginia. 23 and the Cincinnati Bearcats. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.